Hello everybody, this is Jake and we're back to kick off round one of Group E for the tournament. This is where the real fun begins. We are starting off our hosts get their campaign underway, taking on Maastrichtian. I think I said that right this time. And then we have Team Europe going up against Ooh. And then one of the clashes of this group, I and Dan going up against Dino Hunter. Let's see how I fare in the first matchup against Maastrichtian. Oh, okay, we're in the Colosseum. That means that the Eoraptor, which the other dude has, will get a terrain advantage. Right, in the red corner, for our gracious hosts, we've got the Mega Raptor. Coming in lethal tight with our quick strike. I'm sure, well, my team is basically attack minded. Like, it's just going for quick, quick, fast damage. Backing up the Megs, we got Tarbosaurus. Let's type Tarbosaurus. Which means that when the Tarbosaurus comes in, it will start with a crit. But that Eoraptor does have terrain advantage, which is going to be a problem for me. Because my tactic here, I mean, not that I can have a tactic in a matchup like this, is to, is to get that Eoraptor out. We need to draw that Eoraptor out. Right, as for Mastrishan in the blue corner, we got the big bad Brontokin. He's basically gone Team Spec. He's basically Spec, though, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, my master plan is to get Eoraptor drawn, draw Eoraptor into the open as quick as possible and then bust it open and then chip away at Brontokins. Anyway, I've been talking about it for, for the past 10 minutes and here it is, it's Eoraptor transforming into Storacosaurus, which could be a problem because every time Brontokins gets a hit, its attack will be buffed even more. Okay, so I choose to swap when my HP is below half. Mastrican in the yellow. Right, I gotta get ready because my Mega Raptor has Quick Strike, so I will be starting with Skizzers. No terrain advantages here because we're in the Colosseum, so only Eeyore Raptor has terrain advantage. Come on, let me click Skizzers. Whoosh! Here we go. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh! Now that's a start I approve of. Getting the Quick Strike off the bat. Mega Raptor starting strong. Ooh, yes! Ha <laughs> this, this is the master plan. Get that volcano burst support effect. Chip away at the at the Bronchokins. Oh, look at that. It's in the yellow already. Which means Mastrishan will be attempted to swap. Now that is the start I like. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, I, I just get so much more excited when it's me playing. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, he tried to swap, but he's not getting it. And this is a strong start from the hosts. Actually, fun fact. In the past three tournaments, our host has lost the opening match every single time. So there is some encouragement for Mass, for Mastrishan. Oh, there goes Brontekins. And that is a dominant start from the hosts. Coming in with that neck crusher to finish off Brontekins and well. It's got terrain advantage, so that means it will be going for Skizzers. So Mastrishan will get a hit. There's the terrain advantage playing out there. <coughs> and yes, we get the Dino Illusion, which is awesome. I mean, not if you're Mastrishan. You're probably thinking, oh god, I'm gonna get demolished. Well, oh yeah, yeah, that's game. Okay, that's game. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was quick. Quick and painful for Maastrishan, but quick and easy for our hosts. And that is a bonus point win. And that, I think, is the first time ever that our gracious host has won the open, his opening match in a tournament since the very first tournament I did, where I defeated El Montonia. Breaking a losing streak there. Breaking a losing streak. Ooh, I might win this tournament. <laughs> As for Mastrishan, yeah, you know, the blip, the quick strike, it, 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 didn't, it didn't really happen. Right, on to our next matchup then, shall we? Right. Ooh, in the Colosseum again, which means that this Megalosaurus of Team Europe will have terrain advantage. So this Megalosaurus will get the first hit, which will in fact be a critical hit. Ooh, interesting, interesting. 
And yes, I wanted to use Megalosaurus for Team Europe because no one else used Megalosaurus and that was a letdown. Right, backing up the Megs, we've got the Iguanodon. Iguanodon coming in here. Don't expect it to do too much though. But yes, this could be a tougher match than I expected for... Uh... Ooh. Right, as for... Ooh. In the blue corner, we have Armatur. <laughs> I'm sorry, like when you say this dude's name, you really got to put expression into it. So yes, this Armatus might need to do a bit of work here. Might need to do a bit of work. Although he's going to get hit by a crit first because of terrain advantage. Backing up Armatus, we have got the Super Duper Spiny. Awaken mode on three. You I think, yes, it's free. <laughs> I, I, I haven't made a note of the Awaken mode. Okay, so both guys want to swap out when HP's in the red. So it's just terrain advantage for the Megalosaurus we've got to worry about. So Megalosaurus will get the crit. So not a good start for... Mm. <laughs> Big crit from the Megalosaurus. And, okay, an impressive amount of damage. So yeah, they both want to swap in HPs in the red. Oh yeah, this Megalosaurus is warning type, so if you see stuff flashing above it, that is why, and that is not a good start for the Armatus. But this is a very good start for Team Europe. And we actually get to see a secret move for once. Badoosh. Well, I think Armatus might be dead already. Oh my god, it's dead! It was quick! Oh um, well, Spiny, you got your work cut out for you, buddy. Ooh, ooh, yes. Ooh, gets their first hit of the match. And yes, the Megalosaurus doesn't get terrain advantage here because it didn't come in. If you get what I mean. Ooh, I think that's the warning type effect as well. Okay, yes, wait a moment. Time. Well. Who wants to get back in this contest? Gonna need to get the hit here. And I'm I'm rooting for you to get a hit here. Oh no, he doesn't get it! Oh does that what, what is it with these one-sided matches today? It's rubbish! Rubbish! Like it's, please don't be rock. Oh good, it's scissors. <laughs> no bias here in any way. God, Spiny, you can do it. You wasted the Awaken mode, but you can do it. Just take out the Megalosaurus. I'll be happy then. <laughs> There's a tie. Oh, oh yeah, he's got a tie bomb, so that does help Spiny there. Forgot about that. Come on, please be scissors. Oh, hang on, swap. Yeah, scissors. Wait, could could ooh come back into this? This spiny is certainly putting up a fight. They're not beaten yet. And he will get a little hit, cheeky hit on the Iguanodon. Of course, one tie will end this match. So you do have to be wary of that. So tie bomb is basically useless. Or is it? Oh, that, that, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Well, at least you denied Team Europe the bonus point win. But it is Team Europe for the win. Yeah, it didn't quite happen for uh, today, but, you know, better luck next time. Now then, on to probably one of the more standout clashes of this round. I and Dan going up against Dino Hunter. You know what I'm saying? I think this match could come down to who has terrain advantage or terrain disadvantage. I really do. Is this a tough one to call? Okay, we are on the beach, which is... Actually, pretty good news for Dino Hunter. But anyway, up first, in the red corner, for Iron Man, we have the Stegosaurus. The Steg will be a formidable force. Backing it up, we have the Super Duper Spine... No, not Spine, Super Duper Spinosaurus. Awaken mode on four. Both of our combatants want to swap when their HP's in the red. So yeah, again, I think we could be in for a really tight match. Although, I will say, a lot of matches so far seem to be quite one-sided, which is 
you know, it is what it is, but it's kind of disappointing. You like the tight ones, you like the tight contests. Point. Right, in the blue corner, for Dino Hunter, we have a Spinosaurus. We'll see what this Spinosaurus can do. But, backing it up, I think will be the more important dinosaur for Dino Hunter, is Alloatrox. And, as I said earlier, this Allosaurus Atrox does have terrain advantage on this field. So that could be crucial, especially in what I think will be a tight matchup. But can Dino Hunter take advantage of such terrain advantage? Ooh, Spino getting the first hit. This Spinosaurus is heroic type, so this tragic spear will do slightly more damage than normal. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> that's B that is BS, I'm sorry, that's BS. This thing has seemed like no technique and it gets off a support effect. Rubbish! Rubbish! I I am there, you should complain about that. Controversy! Oh look at this, look at this. Well, Stegosaurus is dead. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe not. No, no, no. But what a start from Dino Hunter. Get it up. Get going out quickly. Okay, there's the swap. Ooh, and Iron Dan gets the swap. Gets that hit. Could be crucial. If he gets an Earth Barrier off, I think it stays as well. So you'll have that. Okay, he didn't get Earth Barrier, but here we go. Spino against Spino. Okay, that's once. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. Another tie. Oh my gosh. Are we going to have a tie fest? Otherwise, this is going to get boring. Ah, there we go. Dino went to land in another crit. My note's falling off my desk. Oh well, that's twice. Yeah, looks doesn't look good for Iron Dan. He needs to get some hits on the board. And ties are definitely not helping. Another tie. Well, that Aloatrox is going to get a hit no matter what. Which is worrying for Iron Dan. And, oh, okay, there we go. There's a hit. Oh, it's Alpha Dice. He needs a big score here. And he gets it, and I think that is Spinosaurus down. But the problem now is that the Atrox will come in, and it will get the next hit because of the terrain advantage. So, so there's that hit from Dino Hunter. So even though Iron Dan has two Dinos left, while well, Dino Hunter has one, I think Dino Hunter still has the upper hand because that Atrox is at full power. Ooh, well, yeah, you could tell how weak his other two moves are, because the Steg actually survived that. And, well, the Steg's not allowed to swap, because you're only allowed to swap out once, but Stegosaurus does get off a hit. The longer it can stall the Atrox, the more that Spino heals. Well, this is going to do nothing. <laughs> Bit late now. Of course, our Spino's HP is in the red, so... Yeah, so it's not good. Well, there it is. It stalled for as long as it could, but the Stegosaurus is gonna get taken out despite the Earth Barrier. And the Onion Guira dive would have made sure anyway. Super Spinosaurus comes in, so that's three times. Maybe Iron Dan might be regretting setting it to four. If he survives this, he's got a chance. Oh no, he's not gonna survive! No, he is gonna survive! Well, this is it for Iron Dan. I think even a tie might actually... He might actually survive. It's all or nothing now. Oh, there's nothing! Iron Dan tried the await the mode, but the Atrox resisted. Gets off the crit to finish the job for Dino Hunter. And it is a winning start for Dino Hunter. Oh, Desperately unlucky, I think. Well, I think if the Spino got the hit, I'm pretty sure the Atrox would have died. Yeah. 
I'm sure Iron Dan might be regretting not setting the Awaken mode to three instead of four there, but it is Dino Hunter's win. And that will lead us to how Group E looks. Well, here we go, our hosts after a strong performance, topping Group E with that four points. Then we have Team Europe and Dino Hunt again off to winning starts there on three points. And then we have Iron Dan, Maastrichtian and Ur at the bottom on zero points. Right, let's see who plays who in the next round. So, next round we will see Ur going up against Iron Dan. Ooh, that could be an important match for these two. Don't want to get cut adrift early on. Remember, it's the top four, only the top four advance from the group stage into the knockout round. May have forgot to mention that. <laughs> well, I mentioned it now. And then we have Maastrichtian going up against Dino Hunter. And then the clash at the top between our host Stranger Gamer and Team Europe. Ooh, I kind of want to do round two now. <laughs> Let's just sod all these other groups. Do group E. <laughs> More fun. But no, we can't do that. Right. That's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.